Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 11th of 2025 is titled The Surface of Venus from Venera 14. So what do we see here? Well, here, what would you see if you could stand on the surface of Venus? And that's a good question because Venus is completely shrouded in clouds. So unlike other objects like our moon or Mercury or Mars that we can see very easily, either from Earth or from a spacecraft, something like Venus, which is completely shrouded in clouds, means we can never see the surface directly. And in fact, our only complete maps of the surface of Venus are from the radio and radar imaging that has been done. That's really the only way for us to map out through the clouds. How else can you get a good image of something through, the cl through clouds where it's completely covered all the time? However, we have landed on Venus a couple of times, and that was by the Soviet Venera probes, and several of those did land on Venus and actually able to take images. And this is one of the images from Venera 14, which landed on Venus in March of 1982. And here we see the very flat landscape, mostly volcanic rocks. Venus is very volcanic, or at least has been in the past, and the question is whether it is still volcanic is a good question. Now, we see that looking out again over there, the very flat, very volcanic area, and it doesn't look all that different than maybe some areas you'd see in a very desert uh, volcanic region on Earth. So we've learned about Venus, and it's only those few times that we've actually landed on Venus to be able to study it. Now, why? Why is it so hard to land on Venus when we've landed on Mars many times and sent lots of rovers there? We've landed on our moon, of course, dozens of times. But Venus is only a handful of times, and that's because of the very harsh conditions that exist. And in fact, temperatures are extremely hot on the surface, about 450 degrees Celsius. So that's an extremely high temperature. Uh, if you're looking Fahrenheit, you're talking 8, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So that makes it very difficult for the craft to be able to survive. It has to be conditioned to last in those high temperatures. In addition, the pressures are very high. Atmospheric pressures can reach almost 100 times what the atmospheric pressure is on Earth. So that can be the equivalent of about a kilometer below the ocean's surface. If you want to do a comparable pressure, that would be something relatively similar. would be going well below the ocean's surface and comparing that to what we have on the surface itself of Venus. In addition, within the atmosphere, as you fly through that, you have very high winds up high, and you have lots of clouds that contain corrosive substances such as sulfuric acid. So things that can be very corrosive to the spacecraft. So the very earliest craft did not survive, which we did not completely understand the conditions that it would have to go through. And over time, craft were built that could then withstand this, and in fact, the longest lasting space spacecraft to be able to survive these lasted maybe about an hour. It's about how long a craft could survive on the surface of Venus. So for Venus, unlike other, other places such as Mars, we study it from afar generally. We look at it from orbit and use radar to penetrate the clouds and to really study the surface in more detail that way. So that was our picture of the day for May 11th of 2025. It was titled The Surface of Venus from Venera 14. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Milky Way Side View. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.